Oh, and welcome to Coxie Specs, and I think it is about time I gave you an update on my recent record attempt. So, as many of you have been following me on the channel, you realise that I've been escaping these handcuffs, ASP Sentry, and uh, I've been trying to build up to a nice high number, ready for Guinness, and uh, I was lucky enough to be able to attempt the Guinness World Record back in April. So, let's watch the attempt and then discuss what happened. Okay, Aaron, can you please come around there? It's 11 in number of handcuffs on my arms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Does can you check that they've been ratcheted? They're all locked. Yeah, yeah all locked. Okay, can you confirm there is nothing in my hands? Nothing in the hands. Okay, all my tools are on the table ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Okay, as you can see, I did get out of 11 handcuffs. I banged them all in the box. Everything was going so smooth. I mean, you won't believe it. Nerves really took over, but there we are. So I put them in the box, and the gent that I gave them to is Aaron. He's the curator of the DRM, and he was my specialist witness on the day. So everything was going smooth. Um, I'm just gonna put a screenshot up here now, so you can see. So we've got a screenshot, and, in the t and you can see in the background, we have got six seconds left to go. We got me handing over the box of 11 handcuffs over to the specialist witness. Jobs of fish, got it in the bag. Aces, let's compile all the evidence together. And that's where the story goes sour. So, having to wait 12 weeks into the Guinness World Records, I thought it was a done deal, everything was good. It all looked good, I'd done all the evidence correctly, and submitted it all. Uh, all the different camera angles. I mean, I've just shown you one camera angle. There was actually 12 cameras that I submitted. So there was a lot of footage there uh, of me actually doing the deed. And unfortunately, I then received the, the email that I didn't want to receive, which said that due to a technicality, I didn't get the record. Um, what was the technicality? So I'm reading through the email, and it's because I didn't pass over the handcuff from this to this as the specialist witness. I didn't technically escape it. Whereas, I'm just going to put a little line here of the actual rule. It says an escape doesn't happen until the handcuffs are passed over. So the way that I perceived the rules and the way it's written, realistically, I hadn't escaped any handcuffs up to the 55 second point in my one minute. I went from zero handcuffs to 11 handcuffs 
right, in just one second, a drop of a hat because I gave all 11 handcuffs over in a one So, yeah, um, it was a shame, right, that I then went through the appeal. Well, I say an appeal, I've only got one option, which is to say, are you sure? Can you relook at it? And uh, I've not heard anything from Guinness, and that's been three weeks. So I'm now resigned to the fact that, do you know what? It's not going to happen. So, do I just take this as a hit and uh, say, okay, fair enough? Or do I sit out for a bit and then probably try and practice and go for it again? I don't know. I, I'm a bit deflated from it, to be honest. But there's always an option. I mean, not to aside from the fact that it costs a fortune to get all this crap sorted. But it's all about the time, resources and everything else. And I don't know whether I'd have time. I've got so many other projects on the go at the minute. Um, so I don't know. Plus I've also got real world as well. As many have. But there's always a cloud, silver lining, all good jolly things and everything else. On the day, I was recognised by a room full of escape artists, both domestic and international, and I got an award. So it's not all doom and gloom. I received the Mick Hanslick Award uh, for the best escape on the day. Everyone was um, in agreement that my Guinness World Record attempt was the best escape on the day. And I'm sure you'll agree, it was quite intense getting out of 11 handcuffs. So yeah. There we are, this is the Mick Hanslick, it's named after uh, the famous Mick Hanslick in the UK and it's awarded to the best UK EA, sorry, best escape by a UK EA member on the day of the races. So I'm super chuffed to bits to have been um, even nominated, let alone the fact that I actually won it because I'm still only an amateur escape artist. So I can still call myself a Guinness World Record holder because I've got two Guinness World Records already but now I can extend that a little bit to being an award winning record-breaking amateur escape artist. So, till the next one, thank you very much for watching, stay safe, and I'll keep my chin up if you guys keep watching. Ciao for now.